Luna and I play this disc golf course pretty much every day. She knows every inch of the terrain and can run the track without me ever saying a word. She zips ahead to her favorite vantage points, often near the basket or tucked behind the tree just off the fairway, to watch me and my friends throw. She then memorizes where each disc lands, slobbers on it for reasons I will never truly understand, and then usually stands guard over my disc until I pick it up. If I throw a couple and forget one, she will stay with it, even as I walk ahead to the next hole, waiting until I notice and tuck it safely in my bag. She will keep her nose on the disc until it's secure. She's very meticulous. She leaves no disc behind. The only discs I've lost this season are at the bottom of water hazards. That is her job. She is always on task, and she loves every minute of it. We normally go in the morning when there is nobody around so she can stay ahead of me, dart to her favorite border collie sniper positions, and then monitor my game. But we occasionally go when there are other players on the course, and in that case I can't just have her running ahead and interrupting other people's games. She won't touch anybody else's discs. But having a dog off leash suddenly run up to and perch under a basket that other people are playing on is just poor etiquette. So I have trained her to stay with me on the tee pad, releasing her only when the coast is clear. And I've really been happy with her performance. On this day, the course is empty as usual because we are out very early. But this is the best time to work on dog training. So when it's time to apply the skill, she's ready. As part of the training, I take my time at every tee pad, drying my discs and milling around while she stares at me, waiting for me to say, okay, or go. It works like a charm. This is Luna's second full season as a disc golf dog, and she has been phenomenal. But I don't think everybody should get a high energy working line dog and try to train it for disc finding. It changes the game a little bit, and let's be honest, it has taken a lot of work to train her for this activity. Training a dog is like getting in shape. You can't buy a gym membership, go a few times over a few weeks and expect results. It's something you have to work at every day for a long time. If not at the gym, then at home by eating properly. Now, Luna's diet is just fine. What I am talking about is the hours I put into training for specific activities before it's time to apply this skill. I always start at home, teaching basic commands. Then I go out to a field to test them. Once confident, we go out into real-world situations where there are any number of distractions, variables, and hazards. If I could do it all over again, I would probably teach her to stay with me every time I throw and find the discs while I walk with her. But this is something she can do and does at courses where I need to keep her on a leash, but it's not as fun for her. So I let her scout ahead whenever possible. However, dogs who don't respond well to recall or other commands probably shouldn't be out zipping around disc golf courses where other people are throwing their prized plastic. People who don't know Luna get nervous at first worried their disc is going to get a tooth tattoo. But they relax quickly when they see how controlled she is. Mm -hmm. 
Now that she's well known, we even get requests to locate lost discs, and she usually succeeds quickly finding them with her nose. Still, some courses are just way too busy for this, and I don't think every dog owner has it in them to reach such a high level of training. I just happen to be obsessed to the point of making narcissistic YouTube videos with unnecessary commentary that nobody watches. Anyway, there are some days where I can't let Luna run ahead at all, and as mentioned earlier, I have a solution for that. As you can see, a school has shown up for some disc golf lessons, and I prefer not to have Luna tearing around at high speed in cases like this. So I keep her with me and she watches me throw from the tee pad, not moving a muscle. She watches the discs fly, and can still find them without any trouble. Now, for those keeping score and wondering how the heck I just threw a minus nine on nine holes, I have a confession to make. I have only once in 10 years thrown a minus nine on the front nine of this course. But for filming purposes, I employed one of Luna's special talents. She is an absolute mulligan machine. So for the record, I threw multiple drives on every hole, but I only missed one of those putts. Regardless, Luna isn't the only one who needs practice. Yeah. <laughs> 